Scandalicious. Oh, wait, that's a scandal. <laughs> I don't like the word scandalicious. Sounds like something I'd hear in Mean Girls. It's Saturday. I'm racked in it. I've never, I, I said I would never racked on this stream. Like I was talking to Vivi about this off stream last night. Nobody with an ego would be able to let it die and just essentially go, yeah, you caught me cheating. Whatever. You caught me. Yeah, I cheated. I'm going to head out now. Because they never do. If you've been around the speedrun community, I can only think of one person that has done so. To their credit, after called out, I do recall that he came back. He got a legit world record, but they just didn't accept it. I should have looked this up, but talking off the cuff is such a pain because I don't remember people's names. There's a philosophy discussion here of like, yeah, he cheated. He came back and did it legitimately. I need to figure out who this is actually. If anybody knows who I'm talking about, tell me. I think it was a Mario 64 spliced uh, speed run. There's a conversation to be had there just for conversation's sake, I think. But I that's the only person I can think of off the top of my head that I've ever seen in the speedrunning or gaming challenges sphere that has admitted to it. Because to cheat, you have to have an ego. You have to have a huge ego to cheat. If you've been on the Overwatch forums, you've seen a, like the mentality you have as a cheater is doesn't matter, I won. Doesn't matter, I won. Winning is the only thing that mattered. Being better than everybody is the only thing that mattered. Being legitimately better isn't the concern. It's just, am I statistically being shown as better? And we were talking about this. We were talking about how either she doubles down a third time or she leans into it, at which point, I'm going to be honest, I have to respect it if she leans into it and goes, all right, guys, if you didn't believe me, we're going to do it one more time and I'm going to prove you all completely wrong and show I did it legit. And I want her to be in the middle of her room. I want her chair to be spinning in a circle the whole time while she's blindfolded. I want seven cameras set up that chat can like switch between. And if she still cheats, I, I would at least have some kind of weird respect of like, okay, you get it. But I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if she's attempted a third one. I don't know if she's responded to all of this. This video came out February 29th, so who knows? Last month, the streamer known as Queen Pones a lot pretended to be the dragon Alatreon wearing a blindfold. This garnered her quite a lot of mm -hmm. attention. But when people experienced with the game she was playing and those experienced in blindfold speedrunning saw her video, they realized immediately it was fake. Unfortunately, Queen Pones a lot's effort of faking a blindfolded run was extremely poor. Not only was she using strategies that are just flat out impossible to use while blind, but the blindfold she was using was so thin and obviously fake even we, the viewers, could see straight through it. Soon enough, people were making videos calling out her fake run, and Queen Pones a lot was beginning to get quite a lot of negative attention. As it turns out, the public doesn't appreciate liars and people who try to fake gaming accomplishments for clout. After receiving backlash, Queen Yet Pones people a lot still back, try. Announcing that she was going to do another blindfolded run of the Dragon Alatreon, but this time with more proof. On the 14th of February, she went live, and she was stacked to the gills with ironclad anti-cheat measurements. This time she wore a genuine blindfold. She had a hand cam. She had input display. She had paper covering up her monitors. And she was live. Surely there was abs- So we talked about this last time and how I thought it was very, very odd that in the first video her- Wait, you guys can't see the thing. Hold on. I We thought it was- Well, I thought it was very odd that in the bottom corner- her computer monitor is right in front of her. And in the first blindfolded video, she's clearly looking at this monitor. But in this, she's not looking down. She's like looking like up into the to the right. Just slightly. Like she's not really looking too far off camera, but she's just like slightly looking over into the right. Time to get people to fill your DMs with meme TikToks to clearly fix it and totally make the algorithm do some weird nonsense. Uh, I like going on TikTok and watching TV shows. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it, it makes my my bathroom time much more enjoyable. Absolutely no way 
that she could cheat. And with all of this in place, she did it again. She beat the dragon Alatreon in front of hundreds of people. She was so convincing that it seemed like everyone now believed put she myself? was legit. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altreon blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. Maybe we got it wrong. Maybe Queen Ponzalot was just more gifted than everyone else, and she could really do things blindfolded that no one else could. Or maybe, just maybe, she just cheated again, and we don't know how. Honestly, when I first saw her new successful attempt, I didn't know how she did it. But I did know two things. One, her gameplay was impossible to do blind. And two, people always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. <laughs> I was committed to finding out how this was done. I envisioned sophisticated cheating methods that would be impossible to detect. I figured that whatever Queen Pony did must be pretty genius to fool everyone so easily. For three days, I meticulously studied her video. I worked with experts to clarify game mechanics. I spoke with programmers to see if we could replicate her run using advanced software. But I was getting nowhere. And then, after 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Ponzalot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted, and the magician had exposed her secrets. I had- What is- does anybody know what this software is that's being used in the bottom left here to show like keyboard input and mouse input? I feel like this would be fun to have on some streams because I have a I have a website that lets me show like my Xbox controller that we've used before, specifically during Jack and Daxter Deathless. But I've had instances where I want to show my mouse and I want to show my keyboard. Like, is it an OBS plugin or is it a website? It's showing a Razer Naga. I think it's a Naga. No, it can't be too hard to find. It's got to be easy to find. Maybe she has uh, has it on her video description. Hmm. Maybe. I might go check had the smoking gun, and within 20 minutes of seeing Queen Ponzalot do this one thing, we knew exactly how she did it, and we had the proof. As it turns out, I was on the wrong track the entire time. I thought the method she used must have been smart because no one detected it, but in the end, it turned out to be the simplest and dumbest method I could have imagined. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how Queen Ponzalot faked her most recent blindfolded takedown of the Dragon Alatreon, and I guarantee that you'll be shocked at just how many things she did to try and fool you. I really hope you enjoy. Let All right, uh I'm just going to take a shot real quick. She has a third monitor. And I don't know how she's seeing through the through the uh the blindfold, but she's still got to be able to see through it. Because she's looking at a thing off of screen for some reason. Anybody that's watched blind speedruns, they don't just arbitrarily like look in a random direction and sit there the whole time. It's it's either they're they're looking, you know, in the direction of like straight forward, or you have the ones that are really trying to be in uh, um clear and transparent with uh, their integrity. And they'll they'll just face away. They'll just face away from the screen. And you'll hear them get messed up whenever they make a mistake or something. And you you get the visual of them like physically wanting to turn around, but they aren't. Bring up paint and draw her POV. <laughs> I'm working on it. Wanna ask her? Hey, I saw you getting exposed, but I love your setup. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I was just uh, racked into you getting torn apart online. But uh, how are you, like, displaying things on your screen? <laughs> <I'm curious. laughs> Hi, Zach. Welcome in. How's your day going, man? Been a minute. How's it been? Oh, my God. Legends, let's be honest. If you're watching my channel, it's because you are a gigantic nerd. Uh... It's been 84 years. <laughs> it has. How you been? Social security checks coming in yet? How's it going? How old are you now? 
And I really wanted to just... This is the downside with being a VTuber. God, I got to get my webcam set up so I can like have it on my desk. I, I really wanted to just grab a random anime figure. Because I, 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 I stared over towards my like other part of my apartment where I have my giant shelf of anime figure in shame. Anime figure in shame? Yeah, one figure in a lot of shame. All right, you guys need to go do that. We watched the ad. That means you're legally obligated to go buy a PC through Starforge using Carl Jobstis' code. Carl Jobstis's? Carl Jobstis. The Queen pwns a lot's earlier blindfolded runs, where she used a really thin, transparent sheet of material to cover her eyes and pretended that she couldn't see. In this case, it was so easy to debunk because everyone can just use their own eyes and see that her blindfold was fake. As far as her gameplay was concerned, it's also really obvious that she can see as well. She claims to use the audio to know exactly where the monster is, but years of blindfolded competition tells us that this is impossible. I also highlighted that beyond Beyond knowing where the monster is, it's also impossible to detect whether you are looking up or down. So if you see a blindfolded player using their mouse to look up or down, you know they can see. I actually wanted to try something just to see how hard it is. Do you guys think if we boot up Monster Hunter World right now and I go to Estera, which is like the hub, and I, I close my eyes, I'll even look away from the screen and I mess up my camera. Do you think based on just audio cues, I would be able to get my camera at least vertically level and facing in a general desired direction of like back down the center of Astera? Because I rewatched, uh, I, I watched a, a bit of a Zemes' video for people that don't know Zemes' is Xenosis Vex on YouTube on this. And he mentioned trying to do that and he couldn't do it and it got me curious and i don't maybe this is my toxic trait but in my head i was like i bet i could do it <laughs> i bet i could i could do it with just audio cues i don't think i need to be able to see to get my camera back to normal i feel like i could no it will be difficult unless there's a button that automatically fixes the camera i can do it i bet i can do it in her latest attempt, we see all of those impossible gameplay mechanics in action once again. And in some cases, it's even worse. She will access the menu in order to use items and mess up with a camera, and then immediately and perfectly fix it. She even does this when the dragon is not making any sounds at all, so there is quite literally no audio cue, like in this example. Our Treon's ready in a big attack. Bruh, it has to be fake. She has to be self-aware. Crazy head tracking in real time. That is just laughable. I mean, just look at this gameplay. This is literally my camera movements when I'm playing not blindfolded <laughs> with the head tracking. In the last clip, she is rolling underneath the dragon, keeping the camera on its head perfectly as she does it. It's hilarious. And remember, looking up does nothing. It doesn't let her hit any higher, so there is literally no point in doing this other than to see the head, which makes no sense if you're blindfolded. All of this seems very confusing because she appears to be wearing a proper blindfold. And as I mentioned before, her monitors are even covered up with paper, meaning that she can't see them anyway. This led me to consider other ways she might be playing without seeing. One way would be some kind of aimbot. Aimbots are common in many games. Nah, it's, it's too smooth to be an aimbot. Kind of sophisticated software, it could help her aim on the dragon. This would solve the problem of locating the dragon and also solve the vertical aiming issue. However, this wouldn't solve all of the problems, like being able to dodge attacks that don't have sound cues. In one instance, she accidentally hooks onto Alatreon's leg instead of its head and immediately releases before targeting the head again. But there there is no audible difference between hooking onto the leg or the head, so there is no way she should have known. In order to solve issues like this, I theorized that maybe someone was talking to her and giving her instructions through Discord. With someone in her ear and some aim assist software, you might be able to play like this without sight. I reached out to Monster Hunter World expert TSC, who actually developed the first known aimbot of the game. According to him, if she was using an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than anyone in the community currently possesses. Yeah, like, if you go back and watch this, like, it, it, it's so jittery. 
assist software, you might be able to play like this without sight. I his this this aimbot is in, is far 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 more jittery than out to her movement. Hunter world expert TSC, who actually developed the first known aimbot of the like, it's quick to adjust and correct for movement. According to him, if she was using an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than anyone in the community currently possesses. It seems unlikely that this was the method. The most common theory I saw online was that she was using pre-recorded gameplay. Maybe she beat Alatreon earlier <laughs> and played <laughs> 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 during a live charity marathon is that comedian still alive not to break stream down i i swear i remember hearing something about that that comedian dying or something that guy's laugh is immortal his laugh is fantastic no he passed away okay well his laugh is immortalized on many streams. Sadly passed away in 2021. <sighs> I didn't believe this was the case. Queen Ponzalot had two cameras and they were both completely in sync. I studied her mouse movements and they always seemed to match what was going on in the game. And so did her keyboard inputs. Her mouse sensitivity was very high, so a lot of movements are hard to see, but I couldn't see any discrepancies. It did appear as though she was actually playing. In my opinion, this also ruled out the idea that someone else was playing instead of her, perhaps by using remote assistance. This is an idea that the YouTuber Abisoft spent some time investigating to see if it could work. But aside from her mouse movements matching her gameplay, latency issues would also be a huge problem. Some people suggested that she was using a magician's blindfold and she could see through it. But this is extremely unlikely. Her blindfold doesn't look like any fake blindfold I could find, and we know what blindfold she has because it was recommended to her. Blindfolded expert Mitris has the exact same one, and it looks exactly the same. One other thing people noticed, and trust me, we noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper up, there was something on her screen. And it seemed like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. I pause it. What is on the screen? <laughs> what is that? Hold on, you guys can't see that. Hold on. What is that? What is this? Oh god, Windows is doing its thing again. Oh god! <laughs> Windows Explorer is freaking out again. Oh no. Oh, please no. Are you <laughs> every time I try to take a screenshot while I'm streaming? Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm gonna have to start using Yazo or something to share screenshots with you guys. Uh shoot. Hold on, hold on. I can't I oh shoot. All right, well, hopefully I don't have to restart stream. Um, I'm going to restart Windows Explorer. All right, and there's this one. So if I hit restart. Oh, 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 thank God it recovered. Okay, 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 okay. We should be good. We should be okay. I should be able to take my screenshot. Oh, okay. Now, to, to continue my question. What is that though actually? I don't I don't like what is this? I don't know what this is. This isn't Monster Hunter, is it? No, it is, right? Like that's the mini map. I don't know what this is. Hi, I'm just tired tonight. Wanted to come by and support and say hi. Hi Aki. How's your day going? Welcome to more racked Andy. I don't know what this is. What is this though? And what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on screen. This is the window. What is that though? Is that just Windows 11? Is that just her desktop? That's the Windows 11 like start menu, right? 
Windows Start menu, and the reason it appeared is because she hit the Windows key. In fact, she hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. This bugged the hell out of us, and we had no idea why she was doing it. Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? At seemingly random times, she would hit the Windows key, which would tap her out of the game. This caused her inputs to stop working. She would then need to hit the escape key to try and get back into the game. Watch this clip where she hits the Windows key and then spends 10 seconds trying to get the game to work again. <laughs> she has to be aware. There's a, I'm sorry. This is such a shallow attempt at cheating. It's, I, 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 need, I need to just see a third. A third attempt that is leading into it. There's no way. This is bizarre, and she does this multiple times without ever mentioning it. She acts as if this really weird thing that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of- Why'd she look down? this really weird thing if you're blindfolded like okay habit maybe but like why look if you're blindfolded why are you looking down at the escape key to make sure you hit the right key just something to think about nice to see you guys rest well bunny oh that's why bunny was put in chat i didn't see that sorry about that I didn't see your lurk, Aki. Thank you for the lurk, by the way. ...that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of unrelated tech issue that she was having with her eye tracker. Multiple times before she even started her blindfolded attempts, we can see... <laughs> ...earlier in her stream. I think this tech issue has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blindfolded and couldn't see, but knew there was some kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she did all of this without looking and without saying anything to her audience. It's all really bizarre. In the end, however, after discovering the truth, I realized this was a giant red herring. After several days of brainstorming, I was beginning to run out of ideas. But then... In Hold on. So if she if she hit her Windows key. By the way, I'm going to move myself over here because you guys can see the the little like window of her keyboard and mouse. Um if okay, my question is, I want to try to just snipe her setup real quick. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overthinking this. If if she has the Windows start menu visible we're at 11 30 right yeah if she has the windows start menu visible but monster hunter is clearly in the background did she duplicate her display that way so she can still easily lift the paper up to show like hey monster hunter is here at the end like it's on this one without having to move the window over between monitors or maybe we'll see her move the window over but i'm curious if she just has the the desktop duplicated because that would explain why she hits windows and knows that it was the windows key that popped up if the display is in fact duplicated but that doesn't explain like the time it takes for her to realize that the Windows key is what she hit. Like she stopped for a really long time. And maybe she stopped to try and pretend that there was a technical issue that she was figuring out. And what is on the thing? Hmm. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Because I doubt she's using... Look, I, I'm I'm being a scientist right now. I, I doubt that she... I doubt that she's just watching the OBS preview. That doesn't check out to me. That feels... Um, incorrect. Because it adds a delay. 
Nobody would do that. But if she is actually trying to pass along a false run as like legitimate, and this isn't just her milking it and trolling people, basically. People that are impatient and just want instant satisfaction of being able to go, hey, I got my trophy. I did the thing. They they might take a shortcut that asinine and that poorly thought out. They might just share the, the projector window and OBS to their other monitor. Of the night, I revisited a question I had from day one. There was something that Queen Pones a lot did that was really strange, and I couldn't figure it out. Immediately after she covers her main monitor with paper, while she is attempting to distract her viewers, she holds down her left mouse button for 10 seconds. This was actually one of the very first things I noticed when investigating her run, but I never had an answer as to why she did it. Normally, when you hold a button down for a few seconds, it activates something, and this was one of the reasons I thought she was using some kind of software, but I had overlooked something that was so obvious and so simple, I can't believe I didn't see it immediately. Once I understood what she was doing, it was game over. Holding her mouse button down for 10 seconds told me everything I needed to know. It unlocked all of her secrets. It revealed to me that there was in fact a third hidden monitor. Okay, but what was she dragging? Queen lot wants us to believe that she only has two monitors. When she covers them up, she makes sure to verbally state that her monitor on the left has all of her other stuff on it. To the main attraction, as we get our duct tape for our main monitor, because, yeah. There's the other one. So you guys know. There it is. With all my other stuff on it. Boom. This is a lie. In truth, she has a third monitor to her right, off camera. Before she covers it with paper, oh we can see that her main monitor has her OBS streaming software on it. This shows her gameplay, and it also has her Twitch chat docked into it as well. One thing that struck me as odd is how she decided to wait until her monitors were covered with paper before setting everything up. This makes no logical sense, and she even tries to act like this wasn't on purpose. No problem. All right, uh... All right, cool. Now, um, all right. Oh God, I'm sorry, I didn't think this through. But the reason she did this is because she had to ensure that what she did was hidden from the camera. This is where the beauty of the input display comes in, because we can still see everything she's doing, but it's obvious she is trying to hide it. What she does next is very sneaky. She lifts up the paper on her main monitor, which has her OBS on it. She clicks on her OBS window and holds down the mouse key. Then, while she is holding down the mouse button, she distracts her audience with verbal diarrhea. Where is... That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? And it's the way that it has to be. And, uh... Next is the key that I should have seen she... immediately. What is the most common thing you do when you hold down your mouse button? You drag windows. While talking, she drags her OBS to her hidden monitor on the right. We can confirm this with the input display. We can see her hand move it to the right, and she even looks at her hidden monitor on the right when she does this. That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? And it's the like, uh, hold, okay, I yeah. okay. Maybe I'm just like, whoa, that's really big. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's really large. Okay, so for people that don't know, you know what? I'm gonna here. I'm gonna just give you OBS's window. Like this is OBS, right? So this is the main window. Down on the bottom, there's a segment. There's like the start and stop buttons. There's all of your audio levels here. At least on mine. And then I have all of my scenes. I have all of my like little sections that I'll click on. I'll have whatever. And then I have my stream activity like where the title of everything will go. Then I have an activity feed. I have my sources. Then I have the preview of the game. And then I have you guys. So I have like 
chat right there. I have my sources right here and I have an activity feed. Why? Like, couldn't she just turn off the monitors too? Like, here, yeah, here's where I'm going with this. If she wants to prove that she has two monitors or at least even lie, why not have a single piece of paper? Man, this is some lit MSQ. What? <laughs> why Georgia. does... Right away. No trial, no, no nothing. I'll go right to jail. Right away. Why is my fill caller that? How do you change? Oh, here we go. Why doesn't she just put a piece of tape over the preview? Or like a piece of paper? And then she can still talk to chat and still talk to, like, I know why. I know why, by the way. I understand why. Because then she wouldn't be able to look off in the upper right corner at her little third monitor. She'd have to look at the left monitor when she wants to talk to people, and couldn't she? I know why. But it would at least be believable. I... I I, I don't understand. I don't get it. There are many, many more ways to make this look legit without actually doing it legit. And one of them is at least finding a way to have Twitch chat on screen so people think that you're you're telling the truth. I, I, I don't... And here, here's a, here's a way that you do that. So you do this, right? She has three mod here. I can tell you as a streamer how you would do this. I can show you how to lie right now. You would do this. Then what you would do, we're going to turn off Phil real quick. You take OBS and you, you, you capture OBS itself and you project OBS over to Gilbert. That's all you need. <laughs> we need some Ace Attorney redeems. It, it, maybe and then you project OBS over to your third monitor that way so chat and everyone that you're trying to deceive still gets this everybody over here still gets your, your lovely little lie of oh guys no the, the preview's even covered up you see I'm not cheating I'm not cheating of course I'm not cheating But you could just do this. Why not? Here, I'll give you another method. There's a plugin called Ghost Chat. There's a plugin you can use. Let me see if I can find this real quick. There's a plugin that you can use that uh, has been very popular. Play the cornered theme. <laughs> Hold on. Let me... <laughs> There's a plugin you can use. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Okay, found it. I feel like this is way too intense for this. <laughs> I feel like this is way too intense for this. Okay, so there's a plugin that you can use called Ghost Chat. Made by, I believe, uh, a user called. Uh, I'm on his. I'm on his GitHub right now. Uh, Anubia. Here's his plugin. So there's a plugin you can use. And for anyone curious, what this does is essentially allow you to display the Twitch chat. In, oh, in on screen in your game without any weird multiple third party solution situation occurring why not have this on your game and then you have OBS on monitor 2 then you project the preview onto monitor 3 so that twitch chat is still there on monitor 2 and you still get the situation of yeah, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Oh, hey, chat. Yeah, hold on, guys. Or, like, if you even want that. Like, if you even want that. I, there's plenty of ways to make this. 
I get why, though, because someone's going to be like, oh, the reason she didn't do that is because it, it, it defeats the purpose of the blindfold. There's ways to make this seem at least slightly more legitimate and still allow you to cheat. And she took the laziest method. I don't get it. Get me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> do I need a gavel? Do I need like, like the, the ace attorney like pop, 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 pop sound? <laughs> There's ways to do this. There's, I don't understand the laziness of cheating like this. If you're going to cheat, commit. I would at least respect you if you went through this level of convolution. I would at least respect your effort of like, oh, that's a really clever way to try to get one over on people. But that's not what we get. And I'm curious if we're receiving... If we're receiving something more interesting, I just realized paint was up during that whole thing. Um, but you guys could still see the Twitch chat, like in the background, like it's still up here. Ghost chat is awesome. I've never used it. I'm never going to use it. I have no desire to use it. But that's because I, I I don't mind looking over. I like that you guys can see that I look at chat. I feel like you lose some some texture on the stream that you're watching if someone is using something like this. Because I don't I, I don't think I would find stream as fun to watch if it was I'm playing FF14 and I'm just sitting here and then I go, if you can get the sprite of Phoenix Wright slamming his hands on the table followed by a take that, that would be awesome. That would be cool. I don't think that's as engaging as if we're playing the game, I'm like involved in it. And then I look over and then I read the, if you can get the Sprite of Phoenix Wright, slapping his head on his head, <laughs> slamming his hand on the table, followed by take that. It would be awesome. I feel like there's texture that you, you maintain, but I digress. This, this extension is great. If you want a cool extension, um, why do I not have paint on here? Go, go check out this extension by Anubia right here on GitHub. Highly recommend it. She moves her mouse to the left, she looks to the left, and she even says that she's moving something. However, we can see on the input display, she doesn't even click her mouse. Move that over, okay. Now, despite the fact her monitor on the right is supposed to be a secret, she cannot help but stare at it constantly. She even responds to this exact message in chat while looking at it. However, mid-sentence, she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. Alright. Oh yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. Bruh, hire me, I'll help you cheat better. And thinking for 10 seconds, she tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. Oh yeah. Everything, everything will be- Hire me, I'll help you cheat better. The funny thing about Queen Pwns a lot reading chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no need to have chat there in the first place. And it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. And it also causes her to screw up by responding to it. I'm guessing she just couldn't help herself and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. So we know that she has a monitor to her right, but how does she see it? Well, the secret is in how she's wearing her blindfold. She's wearing it very, very loosely. It's barely able to stay on her face, and on top of that, she wears it very high. This is not how you're supposed to wear a blindfold. Anyone who owns a blindfold like this knows you don't wear them loose, you wear them tight. If you wear them loose, light gets in. By wearing her blindfold loose, she can see through a small gap between her nose and the blindfold. The game adjusts Juzzy has already replicated her exact setup. In his case, he showed his two monitors which he turned off, he wore a proper blindfold, he used the exact same input display, and he had a hand cam. With all of this, he also killed Alatreon in expert fashion. So where is the third monitor though? Is it... Because I thought it would be straight ahead of her, but Here, it's not. He explains how he did it. As you can see now, my monitors are off and I'm blindfolded, but um, despite my short-sightedness without glasses, I can clearly see these targets and shoot at them. 
And why is that? It's because there's a secret here. Right now, I'm wearing the blindfold, right? But <laughs> I saw a gif of this specific clip. I saw a gif of this. And <laughs> since there was no audio, <laughs> my first thought of this, okay, this this makes sense to me now. I was like, damn, he's pretty good. <laughs> my first thought of this was, damn, he's pretty good. So, all right. You know what? Maybe the first time I saw her, I would have been just as like non-skeptical. I can see out the gaps between my nose and my blindfold. And if I weren't even looser, I'd be able to see out the sides left and right in my peripheral vision. Then the next step to the trick is the fact that another thing you guys noticed, there's two monitors here, right? But they're not the only ones. Uh, and the third okay. monitor I left. On top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, Queen Ponzalot also sits back in her chair and looks up in an unnatural way. So is her monitor, like, down to her right? Or is it up? Because I thought it was up. Because my thinking was, there's a, there's a sheer part of the blindfold in here, like a little, a little slit that she could see through, but I guess not. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This is because while her blindfold was partially obscuring her sight, she could see straight through it and was looking at the monitor directly in front of her. With the new blindfold, she can't see through the front of it, which is why she has now completely changed her sitting position so she can see down and to the side called it this is not a normal I at least call i at least called the fucking like sitting angle change i may have been wrong with how she was seeing through the blindfold because she wasn't seeing through it she was looking around it but i was i was at least correct on the sitting angle being super suspicious Class blindfold speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position it's a giant red flag and uh, if I curve up even more, but that's already looking very sus, I guess, if you, if you sit there like your neck breaking. Uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see half of my monitor. Um, I, can, I can see OBS right now, literally. I can see the volume meters going up. I can see the picture. If I turn a bit, I can see the other monitor. And it's as simple as that. There is a hidden monitor on the right, and she is playing through her OBS, which she discreetly moved to it. I can't believe I spent so much time researching Okay, so she is using the... Wait! What? Why? Why move the whole OBS window? Just use the projector preview. It eliminates the problem that she has at the end of like, hold on, guys, I got to just move everything around again. Just project it. Why move the whole OBS window? That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, whatever. It's cheating. It's not going to be well thought out. It's going to be lazy because it's cheating. Cheating is inherently lazy. Cheat better. Have integrity with your cheating. I'll at least respect you some. Aimbots when the solution was so stupidly basic. And while it's so easy just to say there was a hidden monitor, which some people did, it's an entirely different story to provide concrete evidence. The fact that we can literally see her move OBS to the hidden screen, the fact that she reads chat from it, the fact that she stares at it constantly, the fact that she wears her blindfold so loosely, and the fact that she sits in such a weird position, all prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is the way she cheated. But here is my my favorite part. After she has killed Alatreon, and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. And beyond all of this, the simple fact
it has to be. The way she plays the game it is impossible to do if you can't see. Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, this entire thing isn't a big deal. This is just silly, fun internet drama, and it's just really interesting to learn how Queen Ponzalot faked her blindfold runs. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game fraudsters because I enjoy it. This whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. But make no mistake, her behavior is not healthy, and it's not a good thing. There are gamers who spend thousands of hours legitimately trying to do amazing things. I want to talk to her. Hey, I saw your performance. You have so much to learn. Let me teach you how to cheat properly. <laughs> that feels really condescending. <laughs> That's too condescending even for me, even as someone who's cheating. I do like the concept of someone approaching someone who cheated and then they get like offended that someone's challenging them on their cheating and then the response back is, no, 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 I loved it. I think we can improve it and make it look even more legitimate. without the ability to see. Blindfolded gaming takes a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot of ingenuity. And Queen Ponzalot keeps taking a giant steaming dump on all of their efforts. Because of her actions, people are going to trust the accomplishments of real gamers even less. Skepticism will disproportionately rise, and the public will become even more cynical. See, that's where I, I, I disagree that it's like... Okay, hold, I want to be very clear here. Um, the statement of, this isn't a big deal, it's a big deal to the community that this occurs in. It's a big deal to the the blindfolded speedrunning community. It might not be a big deal to like me. But I I I I understand why people in the community are probably upset and irritated at someone just coming in and shitting all over the chessboard. Imagine a Yoda cell coming in through the fog. Teach you I will. I can't do a Yoda voice, I'm sorry. But it, it's it's not fair to all the people doing it legit that now there's going to be more skepticism. People are going to be a little bit quicker to go, "Oh, you're just you're just doing what Queen Pones a lot did. You're just cheating. Blindfold runs are fake. You can't do it. It's impossible." But on the flip side, maybe that's a good thing. The amount of people who threw common sense to the wayside and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical. And maybe this lesson was an important one to learn. Fair. Logic. Fair. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this video, including the YouTuber Abisoft, who is also releasing a video about this most recent run. Ooh. I know for a fact he is including many details I haven't mentioned myself, so if you want to learn even more, please go and check out his video as well. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Next time. That's good.